thing's actually really cool. Hey everybody, it's Roberto, and today I'm gonna geek out with you a little bit over my top five favorite features of the new Microsoft Surface Studio. Now some of you guys already know that I actually was hands-on with this at Adobe Max. I actually got to play with it for a few days on and off, uh, both before and after I shot my hands-on review video. This thing's actually really cool. I think it's an innovative piece of tech for a niche market. I think it's really for the pro market, and there's a lot you can do with this. If you happen to be a digital artist or illustrator, it's very obvious what you can do with this. But if you actually are a video editor, and many of you watching this are, I think a lot of you haven't thought about how you can use this in an advanced workflow. If you're like me and you use Adobe Premiere Pro, there are great opportunities to do really simple and quick masking that could really just let you add some interesting things to what you're doing in Premiere Pro without even having to get into After Effects. If you're an After Effects user, then rotoscoping is something you can take to a new level. And if you're interested in Adobe Character Animate, then there's a lot of opportunities there. But for those who use things like Maya and Poser and 3D and animation software, the implications of something like the Microsoft Surface Studio are limitless. So it's a reason that I really dig this product and why I want to share with you guys my top five favorite features for it. So number one, I love the zero gravity hinge. Being able to lay this down, not completely flat, but up to 20 degrees is really great. And then you can just tilt it back up and use it as a typical display. This is something that you don't get with things like the uh, Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. Uh, that is a product I know a lot of you are interested in. You want to know my thoughts comparing these two. And the thing is, I really just feel like they're different products. I feel like the Microsoft Surface Studio is a full-on solution that you can use for a lot of different things. Whereas the Wacom Mobile Pro Studio, I really feel like it's much more specialized toward digital artist only. Whereas I think there are more users that could take advantage of the Surface uh, Studio. So, you know, that's kind of my thought on it. The zero gravity hinge and just being able to go back and forth and have the kind of you know, experience that you want, being able to lay it down, being able to tilt it up, I just think that it's really convenient and that the way they handled it was smart. With that in mind, let's move on to my second favorite feature, the palm rejection and arm rejection. Being able to rest my arms and my hands on the screen and not have it affect the input is actually really important to me. It reminds me of drawing at a drafting table doing traditional drawing. I could work the way that I really wanted to. Uh, now granted, you didn't see a lot of that in the video because so much of my gear, stuff that you guys couldn't even see that was in frame, was taking up a lot of space. I just didn't want to like be rude to people to kind of make myself more comfortable and to move things around. So that's why in some of the footage, you know, you're seeing uh, me draw at awkward angles and things like that. It's just because I had to worry about a lot. I had to worry about, you know, filling the frame of the camera, being at a certain angle, making things visible for you guys, and then not being too rude while I take up space. My third favorite feature on this definitely has to be the display. They are using um, an IPS display, and it's really important considering all the different angles that you, you know, have as far as viewing angles for this, that they do that, and that's something that worked out really well. The graphics on this display are also amazing. They are using the previous generation of NVIDIA graphics, but the thing is that doesn't bother me too much. The previous generation of NVIDIA graphics are actually really powerful, and so it doesn't bother me that they're not using the current um, you know, Pascal architecture graphics cards. I mean, for the iMacs, Apple's not using the current generation graphics cards available anyway. The display and graphics are beautiful, everything is sharp, vivid colors, and it is actually able to handle 3D textures with pretty good detail. I don't necessarily think this is a gaming machine, but I think if you wanted to do something basic, you wouldn't be disappointed with it. Number four, let's talk about the Microsoft Surface Pen and the Surface Dial. Drawing on this actually was a lot of fun. It's great. I could definitely see this working out really well for graphic design, photo retouching, 3D modeling, digital painting, digital art in general. It is really made for that. The Microsoft Surface Dial adds some new interesting implications. Now, a couple of things. Uh, I really love that the Surface Pen actually flips over and you can use it as an eraser. That's really intuitive considering it's called a pen. The Apple Pencil, it's called a pencil from a company that spouts innovation and being intuitive, really didn't cover the mark there. Yes, you do have a lightning charger on the back of it, but come on, I just really feel like they could have done better there. And, you know, but come on, I just really feel like they could have done better there. So I, I really like what they do with the Microsoft Surface Pen by comparison. As for the Surface Dial, a lot of you commented in my previous video that the Surface Dial was sliding off the screen. Uh, that was partly my mistake. I got a little bit of residue on it from my hands from the drink after Steve was showing me the demo. But in general, if you get dust or residue either on the screen or on the Surface Dial, it will slide off of there. 
The beauty of it is that it's not really something that has to be on the screen, even though that's really cool. You can go ahead and put it on the screen, make your adjustment, take it off, and you can actually use it off the screen and it still works and interacts with it much the same way. So that's not really a deal breaker for me. I think that's something that they could improve upon, but for the way most people are gonna use it, not gonna be a huge deal. I also think that as more programs adapt for the Microsoft Surface ecosystem, that we'll see a lot more cool features come out of the Surface dial. When you're using it with the Microsoft uh, Creative programs, you actually get even more features than you do with you know applications like Adobe right now, but I think that'll change in the future. I also think for those of you who have brought up that the tilting uh, and other things like that on the pen are not up to the abilities of the Wacom, but are still really good, I think that that's something that can be improved with a firmware update over time without you having to go and replace that or buy a new version of the hardware. So I think that's something that they can actually handle and I'm looking forward to that. But like I said, I think that maybe the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro is a more specialized program for digital artists. I think for most people that this will be okay. Finally, let's talk about my fifth favorite thing about this, which are the ports and compatibility. The new MacBook uh, Pro 2016 is getting a lot of flack, especially from me, because it went to nothing but USB-C ports. I feel like a compromise would have been a half and half solution. Well, the Microsoft Surface Studio actually has four USB 3.0 ports, and it also has an SD card slot. So we have the things that as professionals we want to be able to load up our photos and videos and use the accessories that we already have. And I think this is important. I always believe there's a way to deal with the way professionals are working today while still preparing them for tomorrow. And I think that the Surface Studio has done a great job of that. So those are my top five favorite features of the Microsoft Surface Studio, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. How do you feel about the Microsoft Surface Studio? Who do you really feel like this product is for? And it's something that you are excited about and that you wanna see more of in the future. Anyway, like this video if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and geeking out with me over the new Microsoft Surface Studio and my five favorite features.